Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Henson, a board-certified ear, nose, and throat surgeon here in Central Florida. I'm also an avid athlete that relies on accurate health monitoring and fitness feedback. I always wanted to know my physical condition as well as specific details on my workout performance. I've used all sorts of wearable and fitness monitoring products, but I never felt confident that the data I was receiving during my workout was consistently accurate. This motivated me to invent something revolutionary and thus FreeWave Smart Fitness earphones were born. The video will show you the unique and most optimal method of how FreeWaves obtains oxygen saturation and heart rate through the same pulse oximetry method I use in the operating room. It will also show you why this method of transmissive pulse oximetry is more accurate and consistent than what other wearable tracking devices are using to obtain heart rate and oxygen saturation. Hi, my name is Matt Batterpramp. I'm a pulmonary critical care physician here in Lakeland, Florida. When understanding pulse oximetry, it's important to know how oxygen travels throughout the body. Oxygen is breathed into the lungs and then passed into the blood where the majority of oxygen is attached to hemoglobin. The oxygenated blood circulates to the tissues and various organs of the body. An easy way to understand the process is to think of hemoglobin protein molecules as cars and the blood vessels as roads. Oxygen gets into these cars and travels throughout the body to its desired locations. By definition, oxygen saturation is the percentage of available hemoglobin that is carrying oxygen. And a healthy adult would typically have an oxygen saturation level somewhere between 95 and 100 percent. A pulse oximeter is used to measure the light absorption characteristics of hemoglobin, as well as the pulsating nature of blood flow in the blood vessels, to determine the oxygenation status of the body. With free waves, the red and infrared LED light is shined through the conchal bowl of the ear to a photodetector on the other side to capture the heart rate and oxygen saturation. Oxygen saturation is measured by how much red or infrared light reaches the photodetector. Oxygenated blood absorbs more infrared light, whereas deoxygenated blood absorbs more red light. The absorption results are conveniently reported on your FreeWaves app on your phone, just like in an operating room or hospital where the readings are sent to a screen monitor. Oxygen saturation is an important metric to measure for many athletes because it informs them of their level of oxygenation. Proper oxygen delivery to tissues and organs affects energy metabolism, blood pressure, and muscle function. Athletes can measure oxygen saturation to help enhance and optimize their workouts. The FreeWaves pulse oximeter is highly accurate because of its optimal location. The ear is a great place to obtain heart rate and oxygen saturation because first, there's no bone obstruction, Second, there's arteries that are very superficial and more accessible. And finally, the ear's very well perfused with a lot of blood flowing through its capillaries. Wrist wearables can provide inconsistent data because of their frequent wrist movement, bone shadow, sweat, and fat obstructions. Measurements from the wrist would give you different readings from your finger or ear because of these obstructions. Taking accuracy to even a higher level, FreeWaves utilizes transmissive pulse oximetry a non-invasive method of monitoring oxygen saturation and heart rate. The transmissive method is the same method used in operating rooms and hospitals due to its high accuracy. FreeWaves is the first wearable tech company implementing this as a gold standard. As you know, heart rate is the number of heartbeats per minute. When your heart beats and contracts, there's a surge of arterial blood that increases in volume as it passes through the body. This results in more light absorption when the blood volume increases. The increase in light absorption due to higher blood volume is represented as peaks on the screen monitor, while the troughs represent contraction of arteries. Heart rate is a metric that many athletes track because it allows them to work smarter, not harder. Knowing heart rate enables athletes to know what training zone they are in and the range to maintain the desired training zone, whether that zone be to maintain overall health, burn fat, improve aerobic fitness, or to maximize speed and performance. Other wearable products use the reflective method to obtain heart rate, which is subject to inconsistency and reliability issues. Unlike transmissive, reflective methods send infrared light into tissue where it scatters to collect data and then returns back to your device. Very often though, when the light scatters to the tissue to collect data, it never returns back to the photodetector and information is lost. Also, if there's a gap between the LED and your skin, unreliable data will be reported. For example, bend your wrist while pressing a barbell and you interfere with the LED to capillary transmission. Other factors such as skin, sweat, bone shadow, and fat often prohibit an accurate reading using the reflective methods of reading as well. 
Another disadvantage of utilizing reflective pulse oximetry is that the oxygen saturations cannot be read. This is why most fitness wearables only report heart rate and not oxygen saturation. Too much is on the line with your workouts to get inaccurate readings. This is why FreeWaves utilizes the most reliable technology available and obtains heart rate and oxygen saturation through the most accurate location. FreeWaves transmissive pulse oximetry will allow you to exercise in confidence. FreeWaves are doctor approved and athlete inspired smart fitness earphones. Thank you.